All right, lads, it's a Wednesday morning, and you know what that means? That means JP has new content for us to do, and it's another Evocation Festival. Now, this one might look a little snooze for some of you guys, but don't worry. They gave not only Ryoma, but also Chacha a pretty decent buff. I've kind of glanced over it, and we'll go over it, you know, as we kind of dive into the Evocation Festival and what's going on with this one. But I do want to say... I like that they're releasing these with a decent like release schedule, right? Like it's kind of consistent. Like it's every, you know, month to two months that they drop these. So it's not like, oh, I gotta wait like three years once Evocation starts to get any of these guys. It's like, no, um, 2025, I believe this is gonna come to the NA version of the game. That's gonna be a good year for a, like a lot of newer players because all of these guys will be just be available pretty much. Most of the free to plays I think are now, you know, just sitting in the shop. And best of all, like you get the materials to farm these guys during the logins. But even if you miss the logins where you get a metric butt ton of them for just logging in, you also can just get them from events, right? So it's super dope. And you can even uh, save a lot of the material, like the little evocation leaves by just not buying the servant coins for certain one of these like the different guys, right? So it's like really, really nice. I do like that. Uh, so let's just kind of go down and just check what's going on. We got some new artwork. I mean, the artwork for these are always like really, really nice. Although I don't really see the correlation between like Nightingale and then the two uh, Gouda Gouda guys. These two make sense because we are getting another Gouda Gouda uh, event over here on the JP version of the game. There's already a lot of speculation on what that's going to be about because apparently we weren't supposed to get a Gouda Gouda event this year. I thought that was supposed to be uh, why Takasugi had the White Day event. I thought that was going to be our Gouda Gouda goofy event for the year, but apparently not. But I guess, you know, we're moving into December. It makes sense. Throw uh, Santa Nightingale over here. You know, screw it. Why not throw her in here? So, you know, the art's always very nice. Yeah, these are the Evocation Leaves, by the way. Um, if you don't know what you're looking for, if you are like wanting to start JP maybe for uh, Ordeal Call 2, which Lord knows when that's going to start. I mean, it just it keeps cropping up like, hey, we're going to start it. We're going to start it sometime soon. It's coming out. It's like, and then, you know, it just always gets delayed and pushed back. I, I'm assuming we're just in a Lost Belt 7 situation where it was supposed to come out like a month or two ago. And they're like, I just keep pushing that thing back. Just keep delaying it. We're not done. So I'm expecting some really cool mechanic. All right, let's angle, but... You know, until then, you know, we get to do this, right? We get to do this for the new Gouda Gouda mission that they're going to be dropping. So that'll be, you know, nice. Um, so yeah, these are the leaves that you'll get from just logging in. Obviously, you get a lot of just different bonuses as well. Like you'll be getting Saint Quartz and a whole bunch of stuff. Usually these logins last about like 20 days or something. They're pretty insane. Now, this over here is just telling you like, hey, you can buy like the Ascension items. You can get NP5 and you can get their servant coins if you really care. But you can really budget and save a lot of your uh, evocation fet uh what do you call them? Um, leafs, I think is what they're called. Uh, you can save a lot of those if you just avoid going for their coins. Now, obviously, if like Santa Nightingale is one of your favorite free to plays because uh, <clears throat> she has a really good fourth ascension, uh, but if she's one of your favorite free to plays and you want to go for it, again, keep in mind you get these for like login during these events. They come back for uh, event shops and stuff. So it's very, very easy to come by these. I mean, it just might take you some time, but hey, at least they're permanently there. You can go grab them whenever you want. That's very, very nice. I think this is just details on these guys up here. Yeah, I think this is just like the amount that you need for them. Not super expensive, obviously. Uh, we're gonna be getting some missions as well as what it's looking at to, you know, just get extra leaves and saying courts and stuff like that. Usually it's not stuff that's hard to do. I think it's like just, hey, like level up a guy, you know, make sure you're at X point in the story. Like it's never anything where it's like, if you don't do this specific thing, we're going to come take your Ryoma away from you, right? It's never anything like that. It's not like the uh, the free four star, the free five star ticket where it's like, if you don't level this guy up and you don't bond three of them, we are coming to your account and we are taking your guy back. It's not ever that aggressive. It's just like, oh, hey, here's some missions. You're like doing stuff by all means, take these things, right? You're just normally playing the game. Now, I think we're moving down to where they're getting their buffs because that's just their animations. And I think that's it. There's no banner. Right? They don't usually bring banners for these. Yeah, no, the, they are bringing a banner. Okay, cool. Or I think this banner, wasn't this already out? Didn't we already have this banner on JP? Hold on, I have the wiki pulled up. No, we had Melusine's banner. No, it was the Arjuna Ultra one. That, I'm tripping, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm tripping. It was the Arjuna Ultra one. We have so many random banners, and these guys are already out on like the, the NA version that I'm like, bro, I can't keep track of who's on what now. Uh, but let's go ahead and just start talking about these buffs over here, because they're fairly solid. I gave them a little glance over, but I'll also just reread them for you guys over here. So looking at 
This is really weird. The translations have them in reverse order. All right, so I went ahead and just pulled up their pages so I could show you guys what the old skill and NP look like before I actually read out what the changes are because I think that actually might help some people visualize it a little bit better so you can see what they have and then what the buff is going to be. So right now, what Chacha has on her first skill, which is getting buffed, is she has a 10% battery that she gets every single turn for three turns. And then basically, you know, if a slight gust of wind comes her way, she gets a 50% buff to how much NP she's refunding on that. Just think of her as like, I don't know, Jolter, but worse because well, she's a berserker and uh, you really don't want to be taking hits with your berserkers. Now, this is being changed to now refunding 20% of NP every single turn. So that got doubled, which is a lot nicer. And then she's also getting a buster buff of 20 to 30% uh, for three turns as well. So that's going to be pretty nice. For one, Cha-Cha kind of struggled, or cause where is it? Yeah, it's over here. She had this buff that, you know, she slaps this uh, kind of degenerative defense buff onto the enemy where it just gets, you know, weaker and weaker on them, where they start to weaken their defenses, kind of like the inverse of like Nobu, uh, the Mal one, where she just gets more attack every single turn. It's like that, except it's a debuff. So it's not quite as good. Like back in the day, it was like, oh, if you're fighting a boss, you get like, I don't know, slap this on them. And then, you know, if you're trying to three turn it, you know, you have one guy attack, then another guy attack because Chacha has like the weakest NP of the bunch, but she's still like a free to play NP five at the time. You let her go last and maybe she could clean out the fight with the big defense down. But this will definitely help her out a little bit more. I think her getting 20% uh, might be viable for like some type of events like if she's a damage mod bonus for say the next guda guda event having her at an np5 with event power mod 30 percent buster and if you just want to have her like start revving up from turn one that's 60 percent np she'll have by the last wave uh even 80 percent if you want to go ahead and do her a pen skill because keep in mind you know you can save the coins but if you want to use her for something like this you know, this is not a half bad use to get out of her and she might be good for some of those farming nodes, right? If you just really need it, but I don't know, the farming node is going to have to be a little whack for her to be good for that. Cause again, remember like the 90 plus plus weird nodes are like 1 million enemies, but maybe if the last enemy's like 400 K with power mod with like a power mod CE as well, that gives her like, I don't know, some kind of starting charge of at least 20%, right? Because even with the append, she's only gonna get to 80 on her own, then maybe she could be good. I don't know. I could see some kind of initial use is kind of what I'm thinking of, but it's not a bad buff for her. Like she's definitely a bit more viable, right? She'll be doing a much more better like within the damage department and you can actually use her in some weird jank setups because of the 20% every single turn. So I do like that they are, you know, moving Chacha in the right direction. I think from there on, I don't know, like you could, give her a power mod or something, buff her NP so it gets higher damage scaling and slap a power mod on her. I don't know what she would want to do because it's been such a long time since I've reread the uh, Guda Guda 2 story, but it's like, I don't know, something something about her husband and the Sun Palace. I don't know, something related to that. You know, give her Sunlight Battle, dude. I don't know, make her Gawain 2.0. I don't know. Someone in the comments, one of the lower heads that really likes Chacha can let me know that one in the comments. But then we have uh, Ryoma's NP over here and it does nothing. It literally does, you know, jack all. I mean, it's an arts NP, which is really good that uh, reduces NP gauge. So like theoretically, like, you know, you kind of loop this on the enemy a lot and you kind of just keep their NP gauge reduced. But, um, you know, Ryoma's not exactly all that great. But what they went ahead and did is they buffed his NP. You know, obviously the damage scaling has gone up. The <laughs> drain a tick is fine. But now he bombs 30 stars, which is nice although that says it's going to be on the overcharge so i don't know if it's going to be like it says 10 to 30 so i don't know if it's like 10 here then like 15 20 25 30 that sounds about right that's probably what's going to end up being because they're not going to be like you dropped 27 and a half star it's like what am i going to do with half a crit star uh but i don't know like that's that's kind of cool in theory i guess but i don't know he probably should have just been like the jolter buff no where he just bombs 30 stars i mean he'll appreciate the higher damage scaling but uh lasengle i i don't think crit stars was <laughs> ryoma's problem i think it's that like he's got like the smallest buffs you've ever seen like 10 percent battery Ooh, 20% debuff resistance. We're all getting magic resistance. Hey, no way, dude. We couldn't have like fixed his charisma. He has one of these like weird old charismas of like 17%. Dog, we could have done like 20% uh, right here. 
giving him like you know some kind of synergy with like the star thing right we could maybe have him drop like 10 stars per turn you could even give him the um the buff that like himiko or janako has uh where like depending on each party member they drop more stars like everybody drops 10 stars per turn that would be crazy and then I don't know, you could also then give him like 10% NP damage to everybody else, because that'd be a different buff type for him. It'd be better in CQs, because, you know, everybody's dropping stars. It functionally gives everybody a maximum broken 2030. And then we fix this weird charisma, man. <laughs> I hate seeing these old charismas. So weird, I don't like them, man. Come on, fix them up, man. But I don't know, like, it's fine i guess like it's not the worst thing if you're gonna use him with like demonic bodies on for or some i don't know some weird morgan himiko strategy people that give him the overcharge maybe we get some crazy new art support that gives you like three layers of overcharge i don't know maybe you can get some like 25 30 star bomb thing going but it's it's all right i mean at the end of the day you got to look at it like it's free saint quartz i suppose because they're free to plays. Everybody gets them. So it's like, I don't know. You can just do the rank ups and it's free sync words. But Cha Cha's, I'm definitely a little bit more interested in because this seems kind of like a nice fix for her, right? Or a good step in the right direction for her to be a strong servant as long as they don't forget about her and don't forget to buff her again sometime within like, I don't know, my lifetime because sometimes they never touch these servants again. But the person that's going to need another buff is going to be Ryoma because the NP buff is just. I don't know, man. It's just not all that great. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Uh, I'm, I'm a little salty because I do like Ryoma and I do like Oryu. I do like them. It's like a very wholesome FGO couple. It's one of the few wholesome relationships you actually get. And uh, he's kind of dookie dog water in both his free to play and his uh, five star variant. But hey, at least Cha Cha, at least the goofy one that falls over when you activate her skills. At least she's kind of good. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and I'll catch you guys on the flippity floppity.